Hello everyone, welcome back to the long dark. This is Monkey Boy, and check out this beautiful nest. I got a rifle. Now it's gone. Now it's back! Now it's gone. If you were watched the last episode, that'll make a lot more sense. Uh, I'm not just doing magic tricks. Honestly, I could not figure out how to to um, unequip the weapon. Uh, you press H for holster. <laughs> Makes sense. H for holster. Um, I didn't think of that, but uh, but yeah. So um, I was trying in the last episode. I was trying to get to that barn, um, but there was a wolf around. And he went off after another deer, which was fantastic for me. Um, I'm probably going to have to shoot him at some point, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, that that's survival. So, okay, holster. And let's see what I can get for meat. Let's harvest all that meat. There's only three hours of daylight left, so I'm going to have to do this quick and then sleep. Get the hide, harvest that all up. Oh, this would be so fantastic. Could you imagine if I could make, like, like deer skin and wolf skin um, equipment? Oh, was that a wolf or was that not a wolf? That might have been the wind. Okay, it's getting to night time. And I don't know how the whole loading the weapon thing goes. Um, uh, if I need to, like, I know, I know in between shots you'll need to reload, but I don't know if it comes loaded, if that makes sense. Hi, I'm home. Anyway, oh, that was amazing. Okay, uh, I, I, I just realized there was more in that barn. <laughs> but, but, oh well, I got the meat, and that's fantastic. So, um... Uh, what can I, like, ooh, wow. That's, that's not good. Oh, hey, this is all new. Cool. No afflictions. My status is good. I don't even know how I got there. How did I get there? Did I click on the calories? Did I click? Can I do the survive? Feels like. The vlog? Did I click on the vlog? No. Nope. Morning freezing, that sounds about right. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea how I did that. Anyway, um... I don't know why I'm doing this either. What am I doing? I'm so confused. Okay, equipment. Um... Let's go here. Let's drink some of this up. Which would just be full of fantasticalness. Um, how hungry am I? I'm okay. I should probably eat something little here, um, before I go to bed. What could I eat? What could I eat? What could I eat? I'll eat my energy bar. I should even eat my peaches, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna sleep for a bit. We'll see how, how I, how I'm doing. I may have to start up a fire during the night, see if I can cook that that uh, venison. That would be fantastic. And, um, and yeah, that that would that would definitely get me off on a very good start for tomorrow. I'm gonna drink some of this water. I'm gonna need to get some more water too. Um, let's eat these peaches. Oh, okay. So when their condition starts going down, they start taking up less weight. And I think they might even give you less calories. I don't know. Oh man, th these pieces of meat, too? Fantastic! Look at that! This is 900 calories, that's 809 calories. That's awesome. I keep clicking the wrong button to go to bed. Seven, six hours of darkness left. All right, everyone. Well, this is this is going this is going good. I'm quite happy with this. I think mm, I I really do like Fred, but I think I want to make this my new house. Um, 
<clears throat> it is kind of far away from everything, but uh, but I think I could make it work. And so what I would do then would be like transfer um, the stuff from the late cabin that I have there in the thing back over here. And so that that's kind of kind of what I'm thinking I would do next. Um, Let's drink some of the summit soda to help my hunger and my my thirst. So that's awesome. Uh, let's do the same with this soda. And uh, how am I doing now? Doing okay. Maybe I'll get through the night without having to go to the uh, back to get more food from my shelf thing there. Already unknown hours of darkness left, so it's it's morning time. Sweet. Okay. Um, so I might do here. I got loads of stuff on me. Start to get this fire going. I'm going to keep the book for now. Um, I'm probably going to need to do a lot of stuff on here, so I'm going to put the fire log on. Um, hmm, actually, it kind of decreases the the book has a much better chance of success, so what I might do with with this is use the book to get it started. I hear that wind howling outside, man, it's loud. Um, and then I might add some wood to it, so I think that's what I'll do. I don't think the book can be used for anything else other than starting fire. Like, it says eventually a source of knowledge, but I don't see how you can, like, I don't know, maybe it's something that'll add to the game later on? Like you can learn different skills with it or something. That'd be pretty cool. That that would be that'd be pretty nice. Please work. Come on, fire! They also changed the animation for the fire too, because before you used to get like right into it. Um. Yeah, so it's, that's pretty cool that they did that. I'm gonna add this to the fire. Now I got loads of time. Um. Gonna melt two liters of snow. Man, that wind's really helping. Like, it's it's day, daylight, but it still seems so dark. Oh, oh, I can purify the water too. Uh, I don't know if I want to do that. What the heck? I can't get. I can't back out. Oh, well, that was weird. Okay, um, let's uh. Boil this water up so I'll have a bit of a reserve of water. Um, still got an hour and a bit left. Um, I'm going to add one reclaimed wood. I'm going to come here and I'm going to cook the venison. Now, when cooking the meat will lower the amount of calories you get from it in this game. However, I did go, in one of my games, I did just eat raw meat all the time, and I got sick and I died. And it happened very quickly, and there was nothing you could do about it, and um, I don't want to do that again. So, so yeah. Um, what I might do is I might come here into the locker and uh, find my tea. Transfer all that tea over. Did I have any? You know, I'm just gonna just gonna go with the tea for now. Um, I go back in here. Come on. Oh, okay, I see. I see why you can't just add. You can't just skip straight down. You have to go. Anyway, I'm going to add this to the uh, to the fuel, which will give me a bit more time. And I'm going to cook up this herbal tea. See how long this takes. Because of this, this is actually interesting. Because of the storm, I don't know how much hours of daylight left there is. So, so that's pretty cool. I'm just going to cook up as much of this herbal tea as I can. And then I'll be set because it sounds like I'm going to be held up in this place for a while here. So I best get my uh, my reserves of, of energy and, and everything. And uh, all my food and 
and everything all up and going. Um, there we go. I'm having some issues. Oh, the storm might be dissipating a bit. We've got 12 hours of daylight left, huh? So that's, that's good. Uh, we'll see how much more of this herb will take in the cook up. I don't want to add any more wood to the fire right now. I don't have a hatchet. However, I think there might be a possibility of there being a hatchet nearby if it still spawns the same as I had seen before. How am I doing overall? Ooh, extremely thirsty and hungry. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this tea, which will help get both my hunger and thirst up. That will be awesome. Um, I should probably try eating that MRE sometime too. How am I doing? Still hungry. Not enough to eat an MRE though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat these peaches. Use my pain opener. So yeah, everyone, um, thanks so much for watching. In the next episode, I uh, might head out to that barn, see what I can do. I might try to track down that deer that that wolf got, see if I can get some more meat, which would be awesome. Um, I'm also going to be going to, or back to the uh, Fred's cabin there, uh, saying some some goodbyes to Fred, I, I, I do believe. And so yeah, please join me for that. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you all later.